I am very much looking forward to it. We have some more incredible racing up ahead. But if you're watching at home and you might be new here and you're wondering, how did we get to this point in the season? Well, let's take a look back at the past few months, the drama that got us here, and of course, the moments that landed each one of these drivers in the grand finals. For motorsport enthusiasts, amateur and competitive drivers alike, the Logitech McLaren G Challenge has been the place to compete at the top level of sim racing since its launch in 2018. That's a huge slide, and I can't believe he managed to save that! Excitement and buzz swarmed around the series, from the white knuckle racing to the major prizes for those who could make it to the top. The winner of the Logitech McLaren G Challenge Finals is Brandon Abraham! Champions not only won their races, but the opportunity to partake in on-track experiences and meet some of the best drivers in the world. The heart-pounding action and one-of-a-kind prizes are what keep aspiring racers from all around the globe coming back year after year. 2021 was a year of rebirth for the G Challenge. Graham Bunyan by two thousandths of a second with the race victory. Announcing a new format that included three different disciplines of competitive racing and a VIP grand prize that is a dream come true for competitors across the globe. This season has not disappointed. Each region has blown us away with the level of competition and in some cases, domination. If Matt Danson wins this stock car race, Luke, he will have won every single stock car race in this year's G Challenge so far. The only driver who is perfect in the Logitech McLaren G Challenge, Brandon Hawking, takes the checkered flag. We've seen outrageous overtakes. Oh, contact between the front two! Never next taking Soria out! Crashes. Oh, whoa! That is spectacular. Oh no, big contact, big battles. And while that's 1-1 one, one for both of them, but ultimately two wrongs do not make a right. And flat out amazing racing at the highest level. Hulahan wow. has made an unbelievable move through turn number one. We have gone through five rounds of racing in four different regions regions across three racing disciplines. The top drivers from each round advanced to the semi-finals where they battled it out across multiple races to finally make it into the top 10 and proceed to the grand finals where everything is on the line. Now the wait is over. The grand finals weekend is here. So strap in and join us as we crown our champions of the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. Get ready to race. Well, now that we know what it took to get us here to this weekend, let's take a look at the structure of the weekend. What's ahead for the grand finals? So each day we're gonna highlight a specific challenge. We'll go region by region. Today, like I said, it's all about the sports cars. Tomorrow though, it's all about the stock car racers and we will end it with the open wheel racers on Sunday. Two rounds of qualifying with two races each.